fireworks, the beach, and the barbecues across the tri-state area, three elements that make up the joy of this holiday. This year, it all had a different feeling due to the coronavirus pandemic. But it was no less patriotic. Earlier this evening, military aircraft flew above New York City. The aircraft soared along the Hudson River, over the George Washington Bridge, a Statue of Liberty, and onto the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. And of course, there's this annual tradition, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. New world records were set in both the men's and women's divisions. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhanawal is in Long Island City, Queens with the story. Yeah, Sandra, 4th of July is really about family time, and people got that tonight as well as throughout the week as organizers planned various fireworks displays throughout the city uh, that led up to today's grand finale, and they did that in undisclosed locations uh, to keep the crowds away and keep us all safe. And here, uh, the fireworks displays from the Empire State Building also came with changes along with other venues tonight. It's been a week of spectacular displays. The sky lit up in all colors. A celebration of our country's birthday. This year, organizers launched unannounced displays in select areas across the city, like this one in the heart of Times Square, to prevent large gatherings, as health and safety this year is top priority. We have a pandemic, so uh, yeah, it's... Uh important to stay six feet away from other people and wear a mask. While the view was perfect from Long Island City, it was a different kind of celebration tonight with minimal crowds and families in small groups yet coming together for the tradition. You know what we needed because you know we're still we're still not 100 percent. The grand finale launched from the Empire State Building tonight lasting only a few minutes not so impressive for some. I expected to see a beautiful extravaganza of fireworks like in the years past. Right. So been something been must have happened. But another big tradition, the Nathan's hot dog eating contest went on as planned with no big crowds inside a private location. The reigning champ, Joey Chestnut, broke a world record eating 75 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. Minute like six is where, where I really missed the crowd because they, they, they're pumped up and uh, I, I hit a wall and it took me a, a little bit more work to get through it. Yeah, this is a crazy year and I'm happy I was able to get a record. And here at uh, Hunter's Point Park Extension, you can see fireworks in the distance. Well, these are the ones that some of you have been watching in your neighborhoods. Uh, these are the illegal ones, but people still here enjoying the rest of the night. As far as the Macy's display, uh, that usually is 30 minutes of fireworks display tonight from the Empire State Building. It was only about five minutes long, but again, it brought people together and in the spirit of 4th of July.